My name is James Buccini, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can deploy, mint and trade BRC20 tokens on the Bitcoin network. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is install the Unisat wallet. To do this, we're going to go to unisat.io, then we're going to install the Chrome browser plugin. This is a little bit like MetaMask, but it's for the ordinal inscriptions that run on the Bitcoin network. So this is one of the only wallets that currently supports this. Um, there is also ordinals.com, but to use that you need to run a full node. Go ahead and set up the wallet, write down the seed phrase, and then you'll get a Bitcoin account. We can then deploy funds to that Bitcoin account. Once you've got the wallet set up, we can then go ahead and start deploying our token. Go to the Uniset website again and go to inscribe and put in a ticker symbol, a total supply and the limit per mint. And that will give us the JSON code, which we're going to inscribe to the network. We can then go ahead and confirm this transaction and pay for the transfer fee and the token generation fee using the Unisat wallet. Once that's gone through, we'll have a unconfirmed transaction shown in our wallet. Note that the Bitcoin block times are 10 minutes, so it's going to take a little while for this to confirm and all go through before it's actually functional on the website. If we open it up on a block explorer, then we can expand the details out and copy that witness data into a hexed ASCI text converter. And we can actually see the JSON string input, which we are inscribing into the Bitcoin network. Once that transaction has been confirmed, then we'll have a token in our wallet. We can view this actually as raw data and also as a preview image. This is quite interesting because one thing I tested was actually inputting JavaScript code instead of JSON data and writing that to the network and you can actually import that into a web page. Back to the token and we can now mint this. Let's go across to inscribe, enter the ticker symbol which we set up, the amount of tokens which we want to mint, and then click next. Set a transaction fee and pay the invoice using the Unisat wallet again. Sign and send. And wait for that transaction to confirm. Again, it's going to take about 10 minutes for that to go through. If we want to actually trade our tokens and put them up for sale, we can do that on the Unisat website. We can go to the beta marketplace and list our tokens almost like an NFT. It's more like an NFT marketplace than it is like for something like Uniswap, for example. We need to first create a transfer for our token itself. And then once that transfer has been confirmed, we got that to sell. We can list that almost like an NFT on the website. So we're selling a block of our tokens on the website. We can then go along and browse these BRC20 token blocks that are available for different tokens on the website and we can buy them almost like you're buying an NFT. I hope this demonstration of how to mint, deploy and trade BRC20 tokens has been useful. If you want to learn more about blockchain development and decentralized finance then subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching.